Hello guys, so today we will be making stylized grass material and how we will be doing it is, well actually I'm gonna show it, but we already made it, um, made the graph, it's just an empty graph so we can get things set up and as usual I just use a base material and right click create output nodes and no. We do that, we use a blend node, I usually use it just uh, uh, it makes it makes life a bit easier. So we plug this in. We say normal. Uh, we plug this into height, and we do ambient occlusion. So this is the fastest way to do it. And we will be doing uniform color. And for the uniform color, we'll just create something grayish a little bit. Roughness are just gonna be two. Roughness and metallic are two uniform colors that gonna be grayscale. This one gonna be white. For starters, we we will be changing this, but this is just for some base. And there we go. So we can start making the actual material. So what we need to do is grab waveform, and what I'm gonna do here is bam, um, get the samples up. Waveform number is only one. And what I'm gonna do is noise zero uh, pattern. There are a bunch of patterns, but choose pattern nine. And what we're gonna do is get this size max to a really, really no low number, like 0.08. Yep. Uh, now transformation 2D. We're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. And we're gonna offset it by minus 0.2. And we're gonna also remove the tiling here. So just go to the tiling mode, absolute, and we do the tiling. And, and we select no tiling. So what we are doing here basically is uh, by default, every single node is um, relative to input. So it's like the, the, the tiling mode is gonna be relative to the tiling of the input. And here, uh, tiling is H and V tiling, and here it's going to be H and V tiling. So we are overwriting it, but saying uh, we want to actually do something about it, and we say no tiling, uh, no tiling, not horizontal tiling. So you can say vertical tiling, it removes that one, but if we move it here, it's actually going to have a horizontal tiling. But we're just going to do no tiling, and let's do minus 0.2 and 0. There it is. From that point on, we're gonna go into bevel, and both of these, uh, actually two bevels, but one we will use now, the other will be useful for some later stuff. So we're gonna do two one, and we're gonna put a minus, so minus two one. And for the other one, it's gonna be just O2, but it's gonna be minus O2, so we, bevel uh, bevel the edges correctly. So after that we're gonna grab auto levels here so we bring up those white values a little bit and we're gonna invert grayscale. And you will see in a moment why we are doing all of this. Let me just move this out of the way. Uh, we're gonna grab a curve here and let's just get these points and we're gonna bring this point up here all the way up there and we're gonna bring this one as well here and we're gonna create a curve that's something like this and now we're gonna actually use our bevel here and we're gonna grab a blend node and we're gonna multiply it and that creates a nice little shape here and after that, we're gonna grab a levels node. And we're just gonna lower these levels, lower the white levels down a little bit. And after that, uh, we'll be using curve a lot. So let's just do a gradient linear. And we will be needing three curve nodes. So let's get them out like this. And the first curve node is going to be very straightforward. Uh, we're just going to get a point here, 
and we're just going to try and get something like this. So what we're trying to do is get these black parts all the way down here to be uh, black and all of it to be white. So we can do blend here. Let's move this up here. And I do multiply. So we, we kind of remove that bottom part. And that's what we're looking for. That's the, that's the thing we're looking for in here. Let's do auto levels before we work on these two curves. So the first curve here, very, very specific as well. So we will be needing one point here. And the other point is somewhere around here. So how we do this one is very interesting. So we need to bring this one up here as well. So this one needs to be lower, something like this here. And this one needs to be, so let's lower both of them a tiny, a tiny bit. So this curve needs to be something like this. Wait a sec. Sorry about that little interruption. So what we are doing here is basically creating a very, um, interesting sort of um, curve and you will see why in a moment it doesn't have to be perfect but try and get it to to look as good as possible so we should get this blackness a bit on the top uh, and let's create the other one the uh, other curve so this one we just go bump it up all the way down here and get it Maybe a bit more up here. There we go. Yeah, that's the that's what we are looking for. So what we are using for what we are using these for is we use two directional warps. So we are creating some variation here, and let's plug them in. And let's say thirty, and let's say for this something like thirty as well. So it creates very natural looking variation. So maybe bump this up a little bit. Experiment with this. This is this is completely up to you. So let's just uh, put these a bit like here. So we save some space. Um, then we're gonna do transformation 2D and 2D transform here as well. And we're just gonna make them a bit smaller and move them somewhere like up here. Do the same thing for this one. Move them up here. And now we will be getting both of these into um, tile samplers. Actually, before that, let's center them a little bit more. Just a little bit. But before we do that, we need to create a rotation map. But, we, but before we create a rotation map, let's just get a frame here and say base grass blade shape so what we're doing with this we're just commenting so you know what's going on when you actually revisit this material eventually so uh, what we're doing here is we're doing perlin noise scale it down to five and we're doing auto levels And from auto levels, slope blur, and we're going to use it as slope as well, and pump this to 32 and 16. Now, this is not something we, are want, we want to have. We want to have min here. So the blending mode should be min here. Uh, after that, we go to non-uniform blur. So it's not directional, it's just non-uniform. And we grab a plasma node. And a plasma node... Uh, we get it to something like 12. We don't want it to be too big. And grayscale input and blur map is slope blur thingy and the plasma is grayscale. So what we do with this is we set the intensity to something like 14. And then samples 16 and blades let's set to 9. So we get a really interesting looking shape here we do auto levels so this is how our auto levels should look like and this is our mask here 
So let's frame it and say here, rotation mask. Okay, so now we are ready for tile samplers. And uh, not like that. And let's make the bottom one first. So what we have to do first up pattern input and select pattern input number two because we need two of these inputs here. Exactly. And after that, we're going to get a rotation map input and plug it into this. So what we are going to do here. Uh, let's let's first do 100 by 100, something like that should do fine. Um, after that, we can increase the scale. So scale 11 maybe. Uh, after that, we can do position random. And position random is really low number like 0.3 and offset 0.5 uh, nothing nothing too special here but here is where all the magic happens so 0 0.05 in rotation random and then we are going to do rotation map multiplier to max do you see how it's changed completely naturally and we get all this natural flow in our material so let's plug this in now there is nothing showing because we need to actually right click here and view outputs in 3D view. Uh, I, f I messed up somewhere. Let me just see where. Uh, ambient, oh, ambient inclusion, yeah, I didn't plug it in. So you see, it's really natural. It has that natural flow and it, it is really amazing how we how, how a simpler rotation map can make all this happen. So let's copy this one up here because they both of them are really similar. Uh, actually, did we did we do everything? Uh, oh yeah, we didn't. Uh, I forgot one very important thing here is color random 0.85. We don't want everything to be completely um, shown. We want some randomness here and there. It makes a better natural looking material. So, what we're doing now is in this other one, we are having almost all the same stuff here. Uh, we just need uh, position random. Position random, uh, where is it? Where is it here? We set it to zero. Uh, offset stays the same. Rotation stays the same, and uh, we only need to do a mask random, as I see. So let me just let me just get this stuff clear, uh, so I don't mess up somewhere. Uh, not even color random is here, so we don't have any randomness in the color. Uh, so it's pretty similar to this, but mask map, oh, sorry, mask random is something we utilize here. So let's do 0.65 for starters. I think that would be decent mm. let me uh, yeah yeah actually scale needs to be a bit bigger just so we have some um, some stuff actually different but let me just see I think this should be it but let me just do a quick double check uh, yep 
everything should be good to go here. Yep. Okay. So let's let's do auto levels. Oh, sorry. Auto levels and auto levels here as well. And here is where I will end this video. So, see you in the next one.